What is up, everybody, and welcome along to 40 Runs. Now, when I'm not reviewing running shoes or chasing my friends to Scotland to run the Edinburgh Marathon, I'm actually a qualified athletics and running coach base here in the UK. And in this video, I'm going to be using some of that knowledge that I've built up over the years to help you as you start off on your running journey. Okay, you new runners, right. So here we go, get a pen and piece of paper, and let's get it cracking. Okay, right, so the first hack, tip, whatever you wanna call it, is to set yourself a realistic goal. Now that could be to get to 5K, that could be because you wanna complete a half marathon, and you will do it. That could be to lose 10 pounds, whatever your reason for you to start running this year. You wanna set yourself a realistic goal, and remember what that realistic goal, and keep focus on that goal, because ultimately that will drive you when those days, uh, and you're out there in those days, and it's really hurting, and you're not going very fast, and you're like, oh, why am I doing this? Just remember, why? Right, so the next thing to do, and it's a really good bit of advice, is to follow a plan. Now, if it's couch to 5K, get on the NHS website. It's free. You can get the app. It's totally free. Now, you may want to go to the other end of the spectrum and get a, a qualified coach like me to help you along that journey, write you a, a personalised plan and, and help you with one-to-one -one coaching. Whatever you want to do. But you need some structure in your running is the point, and you need a plan to follow along. That will really help you because what will tend to happen is, is that you'll be sporadic with your running. You know, you'll be really into it, and then you'll sort of fade, and then you'll come back at it and all that sort of stuff, and that's where you get injured and you lose your motivation. So get some structure in there. Try and follow a plan, whether it be online or, say, with a coach like me. Right, so, guys, th this may be useful to you, and maybe not if you're starting out. Um, I want you to start off, if you're not doing it already, by using a ratio on your running. Right, so we use ratios for walk running, okay? And I basically want you to start out by walk running, and I want you to do walking for two minutes, jogging for a minute. Simple as that, right? And just repeat that several times, like maybe up to ten times, and that's you done. Right, I want you to keep doing that until that starts to feel too easy, okay? Now remember, the running element, the jogging element, is meant to be a slow jog okay nothing crazy we're not looking for you to run fast just go really really easy okay now when that feels comfortable feels competent i want you to extend out the running elements you're still walking two minutes active walk people and then i want you to jog for two minutes but keep that pace really slow right again keep that you know repeat that five six seven times whatever it is but when that starts to feel easy i want you to keep the two minute of running or jogging and i want you to drop the walking part to one minute Right, and then when you feel comfortable doing that, I want you to extend the running element to like three minutes and then go to four minutes and then five minutes, but keeping that one minute walking section. Now that should round you out and at some point you're going to feel like you can run the whole thing. That's awesome. But the most important part of this is when you are running, I want you to run slow because I want you to keep control. I want you to keep everything within yourself. The idea here, the idea here if I could speak, is that we're building slowly that aerobic foundation, that aerobic base. And if you're going too fast, you're going to be hitting your system, chances are you're going to get injured. We want you to build really slowly, so please make sure that that running part of, of this run walk is really slow. You should be able to have a conversation while you're doing it. Okay, right, with that out of the way, that's sort of, not technical stuff, but you know what I mean. Uh, the next bit of advice, I would say don't waste your money on, on expensive stuff to start with. Yes, get yourself a, a pair of running shoes, but don't buy the latest carbon plated shoes, it's pointless. Just get out of the door and start running. Give yourself maybe uh, the reward of when you've got yourself to 5K that you're going to go out and get some, you know, more expensive running gear. There is only one bit of kit that you probably need, apart from your running shoes, is a GPS watch. Now, a GPS watch is an expensive bit of kit, but... The reason I say to, to, to buy that is because you can track your pace, you can track your efforts, you can keep a log of all your mileage as you go along. So that is the only bit of kit that I would invest in. Right, so one thing I, I say to my runners when they come to me, maybe they catch the 5K, is to start a, a journal uh, to keep track. Now, like I said, with a GPS watch, you kind of will get that online. But if you want more detail, it is a good way to sort of keep that memory going, uh, that memory of where you've been and where you're going to by keeping up a journal. Now, that can be just an A4 pad, right? But it's a really good idea and it works for a lot of runners by keeping a, a memory, a, a journal of each run and writing down what happened and how you felt. Okay, right, so uh, this might sound nuts, but I want you to just watch what you're eating and drinking. You might think like, oh, I'm running now, I can eat what I like. And your body at some point will be craving more because it's doing this exercise, but you don't need to be eating more, okay? It's a balance, people. Um, what you put in, you get out. So make sure you're increasing your hydration 
and make sure you eat well. You know, your your immune system's going to probably start to take a bit of a knock because you're obviously pushing your system um, as you increase your mileage. So, you know, make sure you do up, you know, your intake of good food, okay? So just have a nice balanced diet, but you don't need to overeat just because you started running. All right, second to last kind of um, hack tip is to join a running club, a local running club. Now, some of them are elitist traditional clubs where you're not welcome, right? We've got that around here, and that's why I started 40 Rounds Running Club. Uh, we've got loads of satellite groups that have popped up over the country to join one of them, social run. But it is good to run with others. It motivates you, and you find that support, you find that connectivity with other runners who may be in a similar space to you. So I'd really recommend trying to search out maybe a local 40 Runs club to you, but Try and find a, a running group that suits you and suits your needs, but it can be really powerful if you find the right one. And the last bit of sort of advice or tip or hack or whatever you call that I give my new runners, and it's probably the most important one, is to enjoy it. Remember what I said at the start. Remember why you're doing it and enjoy the process. Yes, it's going to be hard. Yes, it's going to be difficult. There's going to be days where you don't want to run. There's going to be days where your knee's hurting. But you've got to remember why you're doing it. And you've got to have fun, people. You've got to enjoy it. That's why you're doing it. Okay, guys, right, that's it for me. If you want any more information on our coaching, head over to 40 You'll see all the information on there. But that's it for me, guys. I'll catch you later.